Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Coach Evie, and today's topic is consequences and how to handle situations where you're being taken advantage of, of whether it's a family member, a coworker, your spouse, your children, whatnot. If you're in a situation where you're being taken advantage of and you're always giving, 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 and you're in your mind, you're thinking the more that I give, this you know, the other person's gonna wake up and say, Wow, you know, I really appreciate him or him appreciate him or her. Um, let me change my ways because I might lose them. No, that's not how it works. People change their behavior after they lost you, not before, but after. So when you start to feel disrespected, you're being talked down to, you're being taken advantage of, you're always lending money, not getting it back, you're always getting cheated on. When those things happen, you don't have to go buck wild and curse and make a scene, but you just need to pull back. If you're taking care of somebody financially and they're not bringing anything to the table, put them out for a month or two. The only time that they will recognize that you mean something is when there's no contact, when you're not, when you cut your sources off. Because just like an alcoholic and you're enabling an alcoholic, you also enable bad behavior when you don't set boundaries for yourself. And what happens is when you don't set boundaries for yourself, you feel burnt out, you feel tired, you get high blood pressure, hair loss, insomnia. You just have a whole list of issues because you're not taking care of yourself and you're just giving, 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 thinking that this person's going to wake up one day and appreciate you. Remember the old saying, you don't know what you have until it's gone. And I'm not saying don't ever talk to them again forever, but just set yourself some boundaries, you know? It could be a family member who's constantly condescending, putting you down and embarrassing you in front of others. Don't talk to them for six months, three months or whatever. You know, you have to you have to protect your peace and your mental health because people, toxic people like that will kill you and take you and give you an early grave. And... Don't feel bad for taking care of yourself. I know sometimes you might tolerate a lot more than usual because you just don't feel that you deserve better, but you do. This is part one. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Leave a question and I will get back to you. I'll do the video, second video next.